Hi, this is Santos from Linear Project Software. In this how-to guide video, I'll demonstrate how to copy and paste data from Primavera P6 using the new Paste Wizard feature introduced in version 1.5.2.1 of TurboChart. First, a quick introduction and overview about TurboChart data connection options. Then I'll guide you through preparing Primavera P6 for copy and pasting activity data. After this, I'll show you how to use the Paste Wizard followed by a couple of examples of pasting data into an existing data set and into a new data set. TurboChart is designed to work with many popular scheduling tools and offers direct connection to import data from these tools such as Primavera P6, MS Project, Aster Power Project and Safran Risk Planner. In addition, any data can, that can be prepared in spreadsheet ready tables can also be easily imported into TurboChart using the new Paste Wizard. TurboChart can connect to Primavera P6 data in different ways. Data can be imported into TurboChart using XCR files, but requires a new XCR file to be created each time the P6 data changes. Direct connections to P6 databases, including SQLite standalone and via P6 web services can also be made, and this enables instant synchronization as the P6 schedule data changes. If you are unable to connect to your P6 database directly, the spreadsheet import option can be used to import Primavera P6 data into TurboChart. The paste wizard makes it possible to easily copy data from P6 and paste into TurboChart as the scheduled data changes. For any method of importing data from P6, the preparation of the data is the same. Activities in P6 are assigned additional data using user-defined fields. These user-defined fields can then be used for any project within the P6 database. Numeric fields are used to define the linear start and end location values for activities. A shape code is a text value that is used in TurboChart to define how the activity is displayed, such as colors, shapes, etc. An optional text field is the filter code that can also be used for additional filtering purposes. To copy activity data from P6, create an activity layout that contains the data to be imported into TurboChart. This layout can be a working layout that is used as, a, as part of normal schedule development and maintenance. The column headers can have any name. These can be mapped using the paste wizard into TurboChart. The activity ID must be one of the columns as TurboChart matches using activity IDs. Other columns that are recommended are the shape code user defined field, the start and finish dates for activities, the start and end location values that are user-defined fields, an additional filter code if it's being used, activities descriptions or any other text field that can be used to display as descriptions. Using the P6 critical data field will also enable the display of critical tasks in TurboChart. Any other data columns can exist in the activity layout and these will be ignored by TurboChart. Likewise, any grouping and sorting may also be used and as these will also be ignored. Finally, the order of the columns is not relevant for importing into TurboChart. To select this data, highlight the required activities or press Ctrl A to select all activities. Then press Ctrl C to copy the data to your clipboard. To paste data using the Paste Wizard, select Data, Tasks from the TurboChart menu and click on Paste Wizard. The first tab displayed shows the data contained in the clipboard ready for processing by the wizard. Data needs to be in tabular data format with the first row containing column headers. The paste wizard options lets you map the fields in the clipboard data to those required by TurboChart, indicating the required and preferred fields. The paste info provides a summary of the wizard's processing operations. The second tab displays the clipboard data after processing by the wizard and indicates whether the pasted data will create a new task in TurboChart or overwrite an existing task. There is also an option to automatically best fit the active chart date and location axes based on the pasted data. Then press OK to import the clipboard data into TurboChart. The data is processed to remove all data rows that have no shape code and tidy up the date fields to remove actual and constraint references. The paste wizard also remembers field mappings such that the next paste operation will use the previous mapping options. And now I'm going to do a couple of demonstrations of copying activity data from P6 and pasting into TurboChart using the paste wizard. The first demonstration will be pasting into an existing data set and the second demonstration will be pasting into a new data set. So here we see our P6 activity data. 
Uh, we'll note the columns across the top that represent the required and the preferred fields and also some extra additional columns as well. Note that the column names have been changed from the P6 default names. These can be mapped using the paste wizard in Turbo chart later on. We also have additional columns of data that are not required in TurboChart but may be part of our normal working activity layout and we also have grouping and sorting that can be any grouping or sorting fields that you may use. So to copy our data from P6 we'll select all data by pressing Ctrl A and then pressing Ctrl C to copy the data to the clipboard. Moving over to TurboChart we can check whatever data is already existing in TurboChart by going data tasks from the menu and we'll note here that there is a set of activities already in our first data set one. We'll press on paste wizard and we'll see here that at present if we look at the clipboard data we can see the copied data exists there. However we haven't mapped the fields yet so now I'll go through the process of mapping all of these fields to the headers that were found in our P6 activity layout. So now I've mapped the required and preferred and any additional fields to our uh, data from the clipboard. You'll note here from the paste info it mentions that there are some rows that are not being imported and that there'll be 432 new tasks created and there were some additional data columns that are not being imported. If I click on the process data tab you'll be able to actually see more information about each of these activities or from P6 that are now being imported into TurboChart. We press best fit to fit the location and date axes to the data that's being imported and press OK. And then close the tasks tab. And you can see here now, here's our imported data from P6. Once the tasks have been imported into TurboChart, we can go through the process of defining our shape codes by setting shapes and colors Of course, if you already have a shape library file that you can load, then that's an option as well. Using a shape library, our predefined shape. For the second part of the demonstration, presented. we're going to copy data from P6 again, and this time paste it into a brand new data set. So we'll make some changes to our P6 schedule first. And press F9 to recalculate the schedule. After making changes to the schedule, we copy and paste in exactly the same method. Control A to select all the data, Control C to copy, and we move over to TurboChart. In this instance, we want to create a new data set. So returning to the Tasks tab, we opt to create a new data set. So we'll create the second data set here and you'll notice that the notice that the task listing is blank. By selecting the paste wizard we can see our clipboard data once again. We can see the tab here that mentions the list. Of course because it's a new data set all tasks are created as new tasks. However the mappings have been remembered from the previous set so we just press OK to paste and in this instance because our shape library has already been loaded into our TurboChart file. There's no need to recreate all the shape codes again. We can change between data sets by selecting the drop down box at the bottom of the chart. So we can visit data set one or data set two, or we can if we wanted to, is to draw both on the same chart. And you can see here the difference between the two data sets. So that concludes our demonstration of using the new paste wizard feature of TurboChart. The paste wizard can actually be used with any spreadsheet ready data set, not just Primavera P6. Any data that's listed in spreadsheet format can be mapped using the paste wizard.